Coming up, the fall musical has been the talk of the district, but some of its content has been questioned. Jordan Elder has more on that in a bit. And also, one of our winter sports is coming out better than ever. We have a preview of that later on in the show. So stick around, and this is Trojan TV News. Welcome to another live edition of Trojan TV News. I'm Hannah Erickson. And I'm Liam Henry. So Liam, did you get a chance to go see the musical? I actually did not, but I know we sold a lot of DVDs, so I'm going to be sure to go back and watch it. It was really good. It was amazing, and it definitely got people talking. Jordan Elder has more on that. For the first time in our 64-year history, Park Hill High School came together to honor and remember victims of the Holocaust. But to some, it was no surprise. This is because just two days after this Holocaust assembly, our fall musical debuted, and one song in particular had students wondering if this assembly was really a coincidence. Here on this same stage, two very different stories were told. It's basically about um, a guy who has produced all these shows on Broadway, and he's, uh, he's not doing very well. And then this accountant shows up, and he, uh, his dream is to be a Broadway producer. They put on this giant show about Hitler, and it's like basically making fun of Hitler the entire time, and uh, people actually end up loving it instead of hating it. It's that fake production of Springtime for Hitler that had some potential playgoers concerned. It's kind of a, uh, a love song to Hitler, but it's done in a very silly way. I think that they zero in on that seven minute song opposed to looking at the musical as a whole. And so when they take away that seven minute song and they're like, springtime for Hitler, like the whole musical is about Hitler, but it's truly not. After investigating, we found that a correlation between the fall musical and our Holocaust assembly could exist. Uh, I could see them wanting to, you know, kind of say, hey, we don't agree with this as a school. This is just a musical. I feel like if they can come with an open mind, then it's not. And if they can look at the musical as a whole, opposed to just that seven minute song. If they try to take it very, very seriously, then they might walk out upset, but that's their problem. So hopefully with these two different perspectives, students not only learned something about the Holocaust, but found a little entertainment as well. I'm Jordan Elder, back to you. Thanks Jordan. That stage will be lit up again tonight for our Mr. Park Hill male beauty pageant. Tickets will be on sale through Thursday at lunch for $8. They will also be sold at the door for $10. If you won't be there or know you'll want to see it again, DVDs will be on sale at the door and afterwards. It starts at 7 p.m. and it will come with a guarantee that you'll never see Disney princes the same way ever again. One of those contestants, Cooper Link, is also up for a KCP&L Community MVP Award, so go vote for him on their website. He's the only nominee from our district. And after you get home from Mr. Park Hill, you can upload your picture so you can take the ACT. The deadline to upload is this Friday. If you need help, see Mr. Abundance in room 101 before he comes to find you. Or you can upload the ACT photo app in your app store for free and upload your picture. There's an app for everything these days. And now Girls Swim has splashed into a brand new season and they are definitely making waves. Megan Ely has more on that and then we'll give you a recap of some of our other winter sports successes this week. A new season for Girls Swim means new bonds and new records. Our team this year, we're really focused and we're working hard. We have a lot of uh, bonds that we've built so far just in the beginning of the season that are going to help us in the long run. The girls put in hard work all throughout the season with both morning and after school practices. Thankfully, all of this hard work only brings them closer as a team. They compete in the backstroke, breaststroke, freestyle, and their personal favorite, the butterfly. They are social butterflies. <laughs> now, uh, you know, swimmers uh, were a very hardworking group. They get in there and they lead by example. And um, you know, they, the swimmers like will swim three or four miles every day after school, and we do morning practices before those. Um, so, I mean, they're a very talented, hardworking. You know. Although these swimmers must sometimes compete against each other, they're still a team with one goal in mind: to win. 
Winning is nothing new to those returning. However, a new season also means new talent. This year we have a lot of new swimmers. There's a lot of freshmen and sophomores that are coming in that we haven't seen before and they're adding a lot to the team. We got a good group of freshmen. We're a little bit young and uh, inexperienced at times. So uh, we got some learning to do, but uh, we still have a, a good nucleus of seniors that uh, should be able to lead us through some of those tough times and rough times. Treading through those rough waters is no problem for these hardworking girls who plan to dive into a great new season. Reporting for Trojan TV News, I'm Megan Neely. Thanks, Megan. Hello and welcome to the Sports Corner. I'm Jackson Elvin and we have some highlights from the basketball game against Oak Park on Tuesday. The Trojans dominated the Northmen. As we go to our first shot, Tanner Zile posted up with a nice hook shot, lays it in for a nice easy two points on an inbound pass coming up now. Brandon Townsville finds Tanner Morrison in the corner for three, giving the Trojans some great momentum at the end of the third quarter. Drew Smith now trailing down the court and blocking a tough shot. What a play by him. And after some good pass work by the Trojans, they find Brandon Townsville down low for another easy lay-in with the final score 72 to 55. Come out and support basketball again next week, as well as Wrestling Tuesday at 7. Back to you at the news desk. Thank you, Jackson, for those highlights. We'll see you after this commercial break. posting pictures of myself on Instagram or Snapchat because people always call me ugly or find another way to make fun of it. I can't get on the internet without seeing something negative about someone else. It's hard to just sit there and watch them get torn down. I feel helpless when I'm the bystander and even more so when I'm the victim. All these people on social media attack you based on your appearance. They don't care who you are on the inside. Everyone is different. We are more than words on a screen. I will stand for what is right. Nobody should have to feel unsafe online. Be who you want to be. Welcome back. Liam, I really hope the weather stays clear for Mr. Park Hill tonight. I don't want to have to drive up here in ice again. I agree. Thanksgiving break was really nasty with all the rain and ice. Hopefully we're going to get some good weather in store for today. Let's take it over to Jordan Evans for more. Well, Liam, tonight's going to look great as we're going to Mr. Park Hill. In fact, the sun has finally made a return after cloudy days the last week or so. We're at 48 right now with sunny skies. Humidity's low at 55 with southwest winds at 4, bringing all that warm up air from Texas. And let's look at that on a more broader perspective as we've got the area of high pressure over here. That's going to bring the warm air up into our skies, giving us some beautiful temperatures for the weekend and into next week. Let's look at that on the seven-day forecast as we're going to have a nice weekend with 50s and lows in the 30s. This is great for December. You can't ask for anything better than this. And we're going to stay sunny as we head all the way through next week. And I'm looking at a chance of rain, maybe even a little bit of snow by the end of next weekend. That's all I got for you guys. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Jordan. That's all we have for you today, Trojans. I'm Penny Erickson. And I'm Liam Henry. Tune in back tomorrow to catch up with this year's girls basketball team as they start out their season. Have a great afternoon, guys.